Uh, yes, friends. Today uh, we have very very special session uh, because uh, whether it is a uh, young photographers or uh, a very senior photographers, we always keep on participating in salon. But the real tough task is making a distinction portfolio because our basic aim of participating in the salon is to achieve some distinctions uh, like uh, uh, AFIP, uh, EFIP from uh, FIP, then FPF, EPF, MPF, PF, from PSA. Okay. So for every distinction, we need to submit a portfolio starting from 5 to 20 images. It's not simply, uh, portfolio doesn't mean simply collection of uh, 20 photographs. It has some basic rules and aesthetics involved with the, uh, uh, making a portfolio. And today, we are fortunate enough to have a master in this field, Sri Anil Rishal Singhsar, and who will really um, give us a, uh, in detail uh, the technique of making a portfolio. So let's start now. I'm sharing my screen. Well, my screen visible, sir? Yeah, the kaider. Uh, yes, friends. Uh, today I am. Uh, I think for the first time I am starting visual introduction because uh, simply reading text uh, doesn't give much impact. So I thought to let me introduce a kind of visual introduction, uh, which tells about the person, about his personality, about his uh, way of working, about his uh, uh, style of uh, art photography. And here is uh, our guest tonight. Uh, Sri Anil Rishal Singh, sir. One thing is very special with him. His visualization is very, very unique and different. Uh, uh, me and Thirish Kapoor sir had been uh, with him during uh, a few photo walks. And we have noticed. Uh, then uh, I thought, let me select uh, his uh, uh, self-portrait, which uh, uh, depicts the depth in his eyes. And ye unki aakhe hai, aakho mein wo jhil ki gaharai bhi hai, aur ek wo spark hai, inki aakho mein, aap gaur se dekhe inke picture ko, inki aakho mein ek spark hai. It tells something, it tells ki how uh, presently he works and he visualizes a frame in a different way. We always see a frame and we click. I have seen his quality in frame. Likewise, we have a zoom lens with our camera. Probably he has some zoom lens with his eyes also. And he keeps on zooming his eyes. And he goes to a particular part of the frame and gets some kind of uh, very, very uh, interesting uh, forms and colors and textures. And regarding visualization, I, I, I just got a quote from John V. Tucky. Uh, the greatest value of a picture is when it forces us to notice what we never expected to see. And this is the last line is very important. Uh, to notice what we never expected to see. And uh, now I will show you a few of his works which really uh, um, uh, keeps on inspiring me. Not only me, uh, um, most of the photographers of the country and abroad, which will uh, tell you he really uh, this is what we never expected to see, what he has captured. This is the first. As I said to you about his penetrating eyes with the uh, zoom effect, this is what he has captured as a third eye. Uh, this is a frame uh, from the uh, uh, weathered 
uh, abandoned vehicle uh, parked near my house in Jaipur. We had been there, me and uh, Kapoor staff. And friends, we all three took the same picture. But the, the effect and impact of third eye comes out differently. This is where Anil is having a chance with a very unique and different visualization. This is uh, one of not only my favorite, it is a uh, favorite of most of the photographers across, across the globe. This is how he, he takes the uh, frame with the uh, uh, light and shadow and so many static value in the composition. This is how uh, he uh, visualizes the light and shadow. Uh, uh, all friends must have seen a lot of photographs from the residency in Lucknow, but this is something different, different uh, because it depicts light and shadow with the uh, geometrical design elements so very well, so very impressive. This is very simple, the root of a plant. And uh, probably that plant name is Adenium, uh, Adenium uh, plant. And uh, even from the roots, he, he has, he has uh, brought the uh, uh, exceptional form, color, contours, everything. Mm. Fantastic. This is one his recent work, which really uh, uh, inspired me very well. You see the forms, colors, uh, geometrical design elements, and everything. This is one. I have seen a lot of works on the uh, automobile, but this is one very, very uh, closely he has approached the frame and the placement of the, uh, you can say, uh, uh, light source is fantastic. And one more thing I have seen in his work, his post-processing is really very, very perfect. Uh, I have never seen he the way he brings out the uh, not only color, uh, the details, uh, you see the glass of that uh, uh, lamp, you can see the texture on the glass also. And his experiments on the uh, uh, arrow placed on the roads, uh, a lot of work he has done it, and this is one of my favorite from his collection. This is another frame from the weathered uh, abandoned vehicle uh, parked near my house in Jaipur and see the way he has brought out. You can find uh, rectangle, curves, contours, everything here and colors and textures. This is one of my most favorite photographs uh, from his collection. Uh, probably he clicked this in Shanti Niketan uh, of our country and see the uh, wood, uh, cut wood log with the placement of the lake. Very, very, very unique. Uh, horse mouth uh, within uh, four, uh, four legs. I think there are two horses uh, in the uh, foreground and the background. This is one of my uh, most favorite uh, frame from the residency in Lucknow. No, no, this is uh, uh, Andaman uh, Island, oh, uh, oh. Ross Island, Ross Island. Okay, okay, okay. No, not from residency, I am concerned. No, Andaman Nicobar. Andaman yes, Nicobar, Ross Nicobar. Nicobar. And this placement of this white uh, tree is fantastic with the background uh, having so many uh, colors and textures. And all. Thank you, friends. Was <laughs> the tree original? Yes, everything is original. It's a state picture. Okay. Mukherjee, okay, thank you for your kind words. <laughs> sir. Uh, so, uh, now since uh, we, uh, the presentation of Anil Kasik sir is very long, so I will go very, very fast. The next uh, uh, item is uh, releasing our uh, monthly bulletin. Uh, normally, Anil Nisar Singh does it, but today since he is already uh, will be preoccupied with so many uh, presentations. So uh, I dare to uh, uh, take up this kind of uh, work because the way he does it, I think uh, 
I cannot do it. Uh, he takes uh, almost uh, 20 to 25, 30 minutes. And he uh, describes each and every page, each and every uh, photograph. Today, uh, because time is very short, I will uh, quickly, I will quickly uh, give a glimpse of our main bulletin. And let me share the bulletin. Uh, is it visible, sir? Yes, it is visible. So, uh, this is the Dharbaz Camera Club, uh, Volume 3, Issue 3. This is almost, uh, we, we have reached in the third year of our monthly bulletin publication. We started with three pages, and today we have gone up to 58 pages. And the cover page is by uh, G.S. Krishnamurti from Bangalore. And this is a part of his MPA portfolio. And then comes content. Here, executive body you can see always. President message you can read afterwards. Achievement by members. I will just have a, a quick glance. And then uh, planned activities you can see afterwards. The most important part of this bulletin is the three articles published in this bulletin. Number one is the about a legendary photographer, uh, Elliot Arvid by uh, our Anil Lishal Singh, sir. Second is the distinction portfolio by G.S. Krishnamurti. Uh, that, uh, uh, he got... Uh, uh, please, please, please mute yourself. Don't disturb in the between. In between. Please. So, uh, okay. And uh, he got his portfolio uh, in 2013. He belongs to... Uh, Bangalore, and uh, probably he is a member of White List Bangalore also. <clears throat> then recently I visited the Pushkar, that is a camel fair, uh, which is in fact in the Kumbh of photographers. Zoom meeting. Uh, please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. I have muted him. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in uh, Camel Fair of Pushkar, uh, I, I think every day I was meeting uh, 10 to 20 photographers across the country, not across the country, even uh, across the globe also. So I, I, I visited this time also. Uh, normally I visit every month. Uh, so I will also give a glimpse of the Pushkar Fair. And then uh, there we have got two important chapters, uh, likewise. Um, uh, photographs click in the month of November by DCC members and CVA DCC members also. Recording so, in progress. I think recording I think is recording is off. Please, please mute please yourself. Please mute. Okay. So these are the achievements you can see afterwards. And then uh, this, this is uh, next next month we are going to have our uh, Golden Jubilee webinar uh, on 7th January uh, with uh, um, uh, top four photographers across the globe, Ricardo Busi, J.R. Snellger, Barun Sinha and Anil Rishal Singh. Then we had some uh, sessions of photo walk also, you can see afterwards. Then comes quickly the legendary photographer, Elliot Erwitt. You can uh, see some of his words quickly. Uh, this is one of my favorite of his work. And this is one of very interesting, very interesting. Then this is the uh, panel of the uh, MFA portfolio of G.S. Krishna Murthy. Uh, you can see each and every photographs afterwards. And this is a glimpse of uh, Pushkar Fair. I visited uh, this year. And then this is a uh, photograph picked by the DC uh, member. You can see afterwards. And there's a list of all the webinars we have conducted. Till date. And for every uh, YouTube recording, you will find a 
uh, QR code. You can scan, you can uh, watch on YouTube. And please, friends, don't forget to uh, press the like and subscribe button. Thanks. Yes, friend. Sir, Saad Bhai Dora. Now, now I have I have tried to make it very very fast and very quick. Now I'll request our guest tonight, the master of uh, uh, baking portfolio, Sri Anil Rizal Singh sir, uh, to share his screen and present his techniques of making uh, distinction portfolio. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Mukeshi. Hello and good evening, everybody. Uh, may I share my screen now? Yes, sir. You can share. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, thank you so very much, Dhanbad Camera Club and its president, uh, Mr. Mukesh Srivastava, for giving me this opportunity to share my ideas uh, about the making of distinction portfolio. Uh, photographic uh, honors and photographic distinctions are two different things. Uh, we should know about it. Distinction is a form of qualification conferred by a society to acknowledge the skill and artistic level of a person in the field of photography. Every society has their own rules and regulations to serve the same goal. An honor is different from a distinction. We should know uh, the basic difference between the uh, honor and distinction. An honor is an acknowledgement made by a society club or an institution to a personality of for his or her services to the cause of photography and or personal achievement in the field of photography. In several societies, an honor cannot be applied for. It is only by nomination. Distinction in all cases have to be applied for. Why apply for distinction? A very big question, why we should apply for a distinction or for any distinction? Applying for distinctions take you on a personal journey, exploring not just technical competence, uh -huh. but how you want to develop as a photographer aesthetically. How others react to your work and what we want to say as a photographer. Therefore, being asked for a body of work. Yes, this body of work is very, very important. That shows not just the content of the image, but also the intent of the photographer. That's why portfolio, preparation of portfolio is very, very important thing. Essentially, photography has a purpose, and that is to explain, challenge, inspire, tell stories, and stimulate human mind and heart. And this factor is very, very important to stimulate human mind and heart. Our distinctions make us better photographers in that sense, telling our own visual stories. Portfolio certainly provides better assessment of the photographer's ability and ethical talent for a personal satisfaction. Getting a portfolio to be conferred with the portfolio it gives you, provides you a personal satisfaction. And personal satisfaction, I tell you, are a very, very important factor for personal recognition too. Submission. Submission, it is a set of images. It, it differs in number for uh, different uh, uh, distinctions and a letter of intent. Both the things are very, very important. What is portfolio? A body of work or a set of photographs that showcase one's personal style. Yes, when we talk about portfolio or to submit a portfolio for distinction, this personal style is very, very important. A portfolio, another definition may be a portfolio should have a definite and distinctive connectivity between these photo images but should not have monotony or repetition of a style. So a connectivity should be there. 
among the all the images of the portfolio but monotony should not be there we should always remember it a portfolio is a thoughtfully designed visual selection of images and presentation of art it should express ideas research innovations and skills and what about the statement of intent the submission must accompany a statement of intent for the whole set explaining your thought process and objectives while creating this set of images the set of images should clearly meet the objectives given in the written statement this is very 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 important there should be a definite connection between your set of images you are going to submit for any distinction and your statement of intent your statement should clearly state your intention in choosing the work submitted in order to enable the judging panel to consider your work in a meaningful context a statement of intent it is about your objective why you made these submitted images not explaining how uh it happens uh most of the time that people in their statement of intent explain how they have prepared these images it should not be how it should be why how many words are allowed the maximum for all genre is 150 words except the contemporary which is 300 words the title of the statement is not included in the word count so this restriction of word is also very very important when you are submitting your portfolio and writing your letter of intent uh now distinction criteria a submission then demonstrate a distinctive body of work yes a statement of intent that defines the purpose of the work identifying its aims and objectives a cohesive body of work that depicts and communicates the aim and objectives set out in the statement of intent portfolio should have a strong coherence this coherence is very important should be a very important feature of your portfolio now what is this coherence coherence comes from the latin word meaning to stick together the situation when parts of something fit together in a natural reasonable way a systematic or logical connection connectivity or consistency that is coherence coherence is a state or situation in which all the parts or ideas fit together so well that they form a united whole this is coherence now <clears throat> distinction criteria a body of work that communicates an individual's vision and understanding as in the beginning uh, i said the individuality of your vision is very very important factor the highest le level of technical ability yes it ought to be there the technical excellence should always be there using the techniques and photographic practices appropriate to the subject an appropriate and high level of understanding of craft and artistic presentation our portfolio should have of course beauty that is the primary thing high level of skill or technique third is inherent meaning and fourth and most importantly the uniqueness that may be called the individual individualness that is very very important factor when you are going to submit a portfolio for a distinction what is uniqueness it may be called exclusivity exceptionality distinctiveness matchlessness rareness individuality so uniqueness can be described in many ways but the important factor is there should be a uniqueness a personal different approach in 
your images of your portfolio. And what is uniqueness? Good art either explores new subject or old subject in a way that hasn't been done before. Yes, these, these uh, three and a half line are very, very important. I'll go once again. Good art either explores new subjects or old subjects in a way that hasn't been done before. We should always remember these two things for uniqueness. This is the aspect of the art which relates to not only what the artist is depicting, but also how the artist is depicting it. When you look at art, ask yourself, what is different in the work from all the other art you have seen? I believe in finding art that stands out from the crowd, but does not use gimmicks or cause distractions. And here I will uh, quote David Allen Harvey, where he said, don't shoot what it looks like, shoot what it feels like. And then Gary Wingrand very rightly said, photography is not about the things photographed. It is about how that thing looks photographed. Beautiful course by these two legendary photographers. And uh, I will also quote Eliot Irwitt. In this month's e-bulletin, there is an article on legendary photographer Eliot Irwitt. And... Very recently, on 29th of November, he, he is no more with us. And uh, Eliot Irwitt, I have no words to say what Eliot Irwitt was. Uh, by reading his quote, we may understand. Photography is an art of observation. It is about to find something interesting in an ordinary place or thing. It has little to do the things you see, but everything to do with the way you see them. Very important, beautiful lines. It has little to do the things you see, <laughs> but everything to do with the way you see them. Ilya Tervet said, and very well said. And then photographic distinctions in India. Photographic distinctions in India are conferred by the premier body of photography in our country, Federation of Indian Photography. Then there is another uh, national body, India International Photographic Council, and by other various photographic clubs. Then top international photographic distinctions. Society of... Photographic Society of America. Uh, I'm sorry. There is some uh, uh, mixing. Photographic Society of America, that is PSA. Then Federation International DR Photographic, which we call FIEP, the Royal Photographic Society, RPS, and uh, some other societies also confer distinctions. Mm -hmm. Distinctions. There are a number of different distinctions that photographers can work towards and apply. They are managed by various Accrediting organizations, main and important organizations which are recognized world over are, as I have already told you, Royal Photographic Society, uh, his headquarters Bath, England, Federation International D Art Photographic, its headquarters at Luxembourg, and Photographic Society of America, its uh, headquarters is Oklahoma City, USA. Each organization has their own set of rules and regulations. In most of the cases, one has to become a direct or indirect member of the organization to apply for a distinction. As in the very beginning, I, I told for distinction, one has to apply. There are different levels of distinctions and the nomenclature is different from organization to organization. Normally, one has to climb the ladder from the lower level one by one to the highest level. There is a fee involved with every distinction application. Distinctions of RPS, Royal Photographic Society. One can climb the ladder from LRPS, 
that, that is licentiate of Royal Photographic Society through ARPS Associateship and finally FRPS, the fellowship. An application for ARPS can also be made straight away. But FRPS can be applied only after attaining of ARPS, Associateship of the Society. And the categories are Contemporary, Applied, Landscape, Natural History, Travel, Visual Arts, and Documentation. Now, <clears throat> Royal Photographic Society, that is RPS, offers three levels of distinction. I have already told you, this is the Licentiateship, Associateship, and Fellowship. Licentiateship. <clears throat> Images of the high standard of the photographic execution, demanding but achievable for most of the dedicated photographers, as it is the lowest more uh, distinction of RPS. Applicant must show variety of approach and techniques, but not necessarily in subject matter. So variety of subject is always needed for LRPS. For associateship, Images of exceptional standard and a written statement of intent, what you hope to achieve with the work. At this stage, creative, creative ability and a personal style, what makes your work unique. Again, the uniqueness, the personal approach. Complete control of the technical aspect of photography be necessarily evident. For fellowship, this is the highest level of distinction of RPS. Fellowship submission are open and allowed to associate of Royal Photographic Society and fellow of BIPP. Images must be of outstanding photographic and creative standard accompanied by statement of intent. One need to achieve ARPS before applying for FRPS. An obvious personal style is ex expected at this stage. Then the Federation International De La Art Photographic, that is FIEB. FIEB awards two forms of distinctions for outstanding service to photography, in particular to FIEB, for photographic merit. These distinctions are awarded for life. However, FIEB is organized to support club photography and consequently only members of club affiliated through their local federation may apply for FIEB distinction. One cannot apply directly to the FIEB. With the local national body, you may apply for the FIEB distinctions. Okay. This is uh, something very different from other organizations. Uh, for outstanding services, as I said, there are two types of the distinctions for services of photography. Uh, in particular to FIEP, two distinctions are there, ES FIEP and then honorary EFIEP. These are used to be given for the services to photography. Then the distinctions or other distinctions which one has to apply, the Artist Federation International DR Photographic, that is AFIEP, that Excellence Federation International DR Photographic, that is EFIEP, and then finally, Master Federation International DR Photographic, MFIEP. MFIEP is the highest earned distinction from FIEP. And then, uh, other classification is. Uh, you can read it out. I am not going because it will take much of your time. And uh, some classification in the excellence uh, distinction. And uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different stages of EFIEP. Now, requirement for uh, EFIEP have taken part with success in international salons under the FIA patronage. Ah, this is very important. The salons in which you are participating, it should have the FIA patronage. Only then its acceptance will be counted for at least one year. His first FIA recognized acceptance must have occurred at least one year ago before applying for this 
AFEF honor, have taken part with success in at least 15 international salons under FIAP patronage in at least eight different countries. These are the different requirements when you are going to apply for AFEF. In this aspect, our circuit is to be considered as a single salon. Have obtained at least 40 acceptances with at least 15 different works in international salons. So these are the things you must have acquired before applying for AFM. Uh, then uh, this includes his or her work minimum of four different works which have each received at least one acceptance in print salons. So four different works acceptances for the print not the digital images. This is another requirement. A complete application using forms prescribed by FIF, which can be downloaded from the site. And uh, uh, 9.1 is the form number. Five photographic works of the candidate in the form of a digital file. All the submitted work must have obtained three FIF recognized acceptances in different salons. In this respect, a circuit is considered to be a single salon. So there are a lot of requirements you one will have to achieve before applying for uh, AFM even. Now for AFM, be the holder of AFM distinction, the previous distinction, the starting distinction, an application for AFM distinction can be made not less than one year after the award of AFM distinction based on the date of diploma have taken part with success in at least 30 international salons under the fia patronage in at different 20 different countries in this respect a circuit will consider be a one single salon include in his work a minimum of 12 different works which have each received at least one acceptance in print salon under the fia patronage so the requirement is much high after getting AFM. Now the highest on distinction MFM. Except for MFM, the other two distinctions, the AFM and the EFM, are based mainly on salon performances. For MFM, no salon record is required. But MFM, one can apply for MFM after having the EFM. Yes. Three years after get, getting EFM, one is eligible to apply for MFM. For MFM, after three rejections, one cannot apply further. So uh, to achieve MFM is very, very uh, difficult. Now, owners of the PSA. The PSA owners, APSA, FPSA, honorary PSA, honorary FPSA. These are owners, not distinctions. And I have already told you what is the difference between honors and distinctions. The distinctions offered by PSA are called the ROPA Awards. There are four levels of the ROPA Awards. PPSA, Proficiency, APSA, Excellence, MPSA, Master, and GMPSA, Grand Master. These distinctions are based on salon performances in PSA approved salons. Uh, the acceptance required for different level of ROPA awards, PPSA, 220 or more acceptances supported by star rating certificate from one or more PSA divisions. For EPSA, 700 or more. For MPSA, 1,500. And for GMPSA, 3,000 or more acceptances supported by the star rating certificate from one or more PSA division. Oh, so distinction of PSA portfolio based distinctions. These are the different distinctions, portfolio based distinctions. Three distinctions are there. PSA offer three distinctions. BPSA, that is a bronze. 10 image portfolio you'll have to submit. SPSA, this is silver, 15 images. And for GPSA, 20 images with the statement of intent. So PSA have, uh, three sorts of distinctions. And uh, for Royal Photographic Society, the different categories in which one can apply for a distinction, 
applied photography, contemporary photography, documentary photography, landscape photography, natural history photography, travel photography, and visual art photography. And here it is very important in which particular category one should apply. So that is that is uh, another tricky thing. You you should choose very carefully in which you should apply for the distinction. Uh, now applied category very uh, in quick succession. I will go uh, about the requirement for the different uh, categories. This is the applied category photography, which has been produced for an intended intended purpose. Possible genre could include commer commercial, social, fashion, design, or editorial. Studying other bodies of work by applied photographers may help not to replicate but to inspire. Find elements that could develop your own approach and understanding to applied photography. It is advisable to avoid steroid type images produced at workshops, courses, or tours. Although images produced at workshops, courses, and tours are accepted. Uh, <clears throat> seeing is believing. By seeing, we can learn a lot. So it is very difficult not to tell about uh, the theoretical or requirement in yeah, theoretical form about this distinction, but to share with you the awarded portfolios. So yeah, this is uh, a portfolio in the applied yeah. category. Uh, yeah. Oh, please, please. Don't disturb. By Mr. David. And for ARPS, as you know, 15 images are required. So this is the hanging plan. And now, uh, first, I will take the statement of intent. And then individual images will be sharing with you. And remember, the category is applied. The statement of intent, during my career as a commercial and advertising photographer, the genre I enjoyed more than any was portraiture, be it studio-based or on location. Building a rapport with the subject, seeing the photographic possibilities within them and helping them relax in front of the camera in order to capture a great image is hopefully rewarding. I have included in my associate panel a mixture of images taken as part or during commission together with some personal images each of the subject uh, i have edited uh, this letter of intent with, because uh, otherwise it would have been little boring and too longer a presentation so the important things from the letter of intent i have taken and uh, now uh, this is the statement of intent I have already told. Uh, eyes are the windows of the soul. And for me, engaging with the subject through eye contact with the camera is so important in order to reveal their own unique personality and individuality. Whilst presenting the panel in monochrome gives each image a further emotion and timeless quality. I think each subject portrait has interesting characteristics and personalities. So these are the individual images. In the applied category of RPS. That's why it is very important for a person who is applying for the distinctions to know in which category he or she should apply. These are the 15 images submitted for ARPS in applied category. Portraiture. Then 
another portfolio which was submitted and awarded fellowship and this is the hanging plan by jane odell in the applied category again yes, and yes. these are all uh, the 20 images or 21 images because uh, for fellowship 20 or 21 images can be submitted and now this uh, letter of intent letter of intent is uh, equally important so the title was documentary at the end of our garden as a child in the late 70s i remember the journey of new market in my dad's old voxel viva to visit uncle roy working at this stable fast forwarding 40 years i am living behind one of the yards which are the lifeblood and rhythm of this town this panel shares some behind senses uh, moments as gusty monochrome images enhancing my experience of living here and these are the images very unique images in the applied category there may be no importance of the if we see a single image but as a portfolio as a body of work a very strong connectivity is there excellent so these 21 images i am showing you individually on which the fellowship was awarded in I think this is the last one. Yes. Then the contemporary category. A statement of intent that clearly stated the aim and objective of the submission within the maximum of 300 words. Here, one can have 300 words for letter of intent. Photography, which communicates a visual realization of a stated argument, idea, or concept. Possible concept could include emotions, Society, environment, art and culture, studying other bodies of work by contemporary photographers may help not to repli replicate, always remember, not to replicate, but to inspire. Find elements that could develop your own approach and understanding to con contemporary photography. It is advisable to avoid stereotype images produced at workshop and courses and tours, although they may be con considering such images too. Now, Alison Weber, contemporary portfolio of 21 images, which was conferred with fellowship. This is the hang hanging plan. So, the uniqueness of your images is very, very important, as, as I told you. So now uh, the letter of the statement is through an aspergic lens, motionless and powerless to move. I am mesmerized by the bold, rectilinear shapes, their tones, a stark contrast with their surroundings, dazzled by the glare. In this virtual reality, the shapes come to life busting out from their surroundings, dominating the rest of the scene, rendering it almost insignificant. And now the individual images. How unique these images are, these portfolios are.
very strong, having very strong visual communication. It may no, ha not have importance as an individual image, but as a body of po or portfolio, it is tremendous, tremendous work. Excellent imagination. Fabulous visualization. I'll go a little fast so that I may complete my presentation on time. Now, the other category, documentary. Photography which communicates a clear narrative through visual literacy. Manipulation that significantly alters the truth of an image or subject is not permitted in this particular category, that is documentary. Im images must show a true representation of the subject. We should go by the documentary guidelines. Uh, the concept could include events, subject people or places which are explored through the photographer's immersion of the subject. A submission regarding a particular place may have one aim, but may need clearly show many different aspects or objectives of that place. The landscape, its people, its history, a geographical aspect, etc., sector, to avoid a repetitive element. A submission may be an opportunity to communicate different visual elements of your aim or objective within your chosen subject. Studying other bodies of work, uh, this is the same. You should not replicate, but to inspire by others' work. It is advisable to avoid the stereotypical uh, type images, produce a workshop, courses, and tours. Just the same. And this is by Mark Phillips in the document category. The fellowship was conferred to him. And this is the hanging plan. First, I will go by the letter of intent. And Bagger have Havana and bustling New York, both dense urban spaces, but world, worlds apart. A space for sports and recreation are confined, competing with the demands of the city life. In Havana, the few areas, deportive, urbanas, are little more than reclaimed, derelict sites. Often hidden away, they are confined by decaying walls of the metal fencing with basic equipment and concrete pitches. Thou marked out in paint. By contrast, New York City has thousands of well-maintained and well-equipped courts fenced off for safety and security. And these are the images in documentary categories. A strong connectivity and coherence should be there, as I have earlier told. And it is always very helpful to see the images of uh, different portfolio conferred portfolios of the different distinctions. We may have an idea what we should submit for any particular distinction. And more importantly, in which category, if you are applying for the Royal Photographic Society's distinctions, a documentary fellowship portfolio.
the imagination is very very important and plays a very important role making such images visualizing and executing such images and usually they may be very ordinary images but as a body of work as a portfolio very very strong now uh, <clears throat> uh mr p kusmas our own countryman from hyderabad he was uh, awarded fellowship few years back back he is no more with us uh i have got seven images of his uh, documentary fellowship uh, submission and his portfolio was also printed in the journal of uh, rps uh, in the magazine of rps so i am able to gather only seven images on the destitute home his portfolio was there and very very strong images very moving images and uh, it 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 is unfortunate that uh, after getting this fellowship distinction within a year he left for his heavenly abode uh individually i'll be showing these seven images which i am able to gather for this presentation these are i i i these are out of the wall images on that particular subject in the particular category beautiful He submitted twenty images. Out of that, seven you may see. Now, landscape uh, photography, photography that uh, landscape category, photography that illustrates and interpret Earth's habitat from the remotest wilderness to urban environs. requirement while landscape photography is a creative endeavor this distinction remains within the broad definition of the art of seeing and the eye witness tradition black and white and a reasonable degree of editing enhancement that remain credible are all included very long and very short exposures are allowed here more extreme creative techniques such as multiple exposures deliberate camera movements complex collages and images blending are more likely to be seen as visual photography go to the landscape guide guidelines concept for photography can be scientific geographic architectural artistic metaphoric at a time a critical change of arts ecosystem we urge photographers to explore what that means to them and their own landscape seek out personal new and revealing ways of photograph the landscape landscape photographer should be mindful of our responsibility to do no harm to the land and nature that we photograph and as far as humanly possible to leave no trace taking only photographs we should always remember these guidelines now uh, this is uh, a landscape portfolio uh, submitted in the landscape category by adrian gidney and this is the hanging plan and uh, again first i will go by the letter of intent as i said letter of intent is as important as the portfolio of images so letter of intent says i have walked and camped in the lake district of nearly 40 years i regularly stay in the falls overnight in order to capture the mood in the evening the first light in the morning it never ceases to amaze me how to light alter the landscape right before my eyes the variation in the light during the season 
add another dimension to every scene, transforming the colors of the hills, the sky, and the reflections in the water. It is my intent to portray the land and the light, sometimes light that only lasts for the briefest of the moment. And as I have told you that I have edited their letter of intent to uh, come up with the shortest version. Otherwise, this presentation may have required much, much more time. So individually, these uh, landscape photographs I am uh, sharing with you. <clears throat> I work very hard to get these images and because by seeing we can learn a lot by seeing we can grasp about 70 to 90 percent again i will say here that as a individual images these images may not be very strong but as a body of work, as a portfolio, these images give very strong communication, very strong message. Now travel photography. Uh, the important uh, points of travel photography, what images sh should one should enter in the travel photography. Photography which communicates a sense of time and place, either UK or overseas. Manipulation that significantly alter the truth of an image or subject is not permitted here in this category. Submissions concept may aim to depict a region, a journey, a land, a community or a way of life. A travel submission doesn't have to be a distance place or the foreign lands it may start at home and these are some other elements uh, as you may be having the recording of this presentation you may go, go later on just to save time i'm skipping it you may read up by yourself So there are a lot of points in any particular category, what should be your approach? What should be merit of your images to be submitted in any particular category? Now, uh, this is the Max Robinson's travel portfolio, and this is the hanging plan and 21 images. So as usual, first we'll go by the letter of intent. What Max Robinson was having while making this portfolio. I have intensively photographed many different families of the Hammer tribe of Ethiopia during the last past 14 years, recording aspects of their daily lives, including food preparations, collecting firewood, plunging, raising animals, grooming, and scaring birds away from their crops. Additionally, through a long relationship with one particular family, I was able to photograph key stages of the hammer manhood ceremony. These include the preparation of the special hairstyles of initiate capturing a bull, a very rarely witnessed sacred fertility ritual, jumping over the back of several bulls, ritual whipping, dancing and applying face paints. So these are the images in the travel category, which was given or awarded the fellowship of RPS. And uh, you might be knowing that uh, having conferred with these distinctions are not an easy task. It is a long and very 
exhausting process always and even then there is no surety that one may be conferred with there may be may many failures now the natural history uh, category photography which communicates all aspects of the natural history as usual subject correctly identifying using the species and the scientific names manipulation that significantly alter the truth of an image or subject is not permitted we should always remember it and uh, the welfare of the subjects must come before the photography yes very important point and any action by the photographer or the third party that puts welfare of the subject at risk is unacceptable images must show the true representation of the subject subject are to be free and unrestricted in their natural or adapted habit habitat subject are to be untamed and uncultivated photography which communicates all aspects of nature and then the workshop courses uh, or tours images uh, may be uh, submitted but uh, not advisable the photography should always follow the natural history code of practice it is best practice to find out the follow the natural history laws and rules both at home and abroad regarding where you intend to take your images Uh, it is about the UK. It may be different for different countries. Now, this is uh, a natural history uh, portfolio. Twenty uh, images submitted uh, for the natural history by uh, a photographer from Sri Lanka. Uh, as there is. Uh, something hiding it i cannot read the name of that anyway so these are the uh, hanging plan of the 40 images submitted for uh, fellowship in the natural history category and uh, this is the letter of intent now i have photographed a wildlife in many places around the world no other place amazes me to the extent which the kenyan part of the great rift valley does home to more than two billion animals of various types and sizes it's a heaven on earth for the wildlife enthusiasts with my portfolio i intend to demonstrate a range of subject from the vast plain of the great rift valley and their behavior in the high structured monochrome photography this portfolio also reflects different angles of wildlife photography from ultra close up to portrait to very wide angle shots so these are the individual pictures in the nature category awarded conferred with fellowship a very different sort of nature wildlife images these are this portfolio is very interesting as a natural history portfolio as is said some close ups are there some long shots are there some wide angle uh, shots are there a selective portion a sort of portrait
It seems like a bronze sculpture. With the prey. Leopard with the prey. The helping hand this little bird is providing to the mighty giraffe by eating the insects. The king of the jungle. The lions and the lions and the lions. Uh, we may wonder how this image can be submitted in the uh, wildlife or uh, natural history category. But it is how your imagination counts. The uniqueness. Now, the visual art category, another, another category. Photography which communicates a creative vision. A submission concept may aim to depict a sense of design, emotion, mood, or meaning which encourages the viewer to look beyond the subject. A submission may be approached regarding a particular art movement. These are other requirements for this category. And the category is the visual art photography of RPS. The strong evidence of a personal artistic style of interpretation is very much desirable. So this is another portfolio in the visual art by Ineki Harnedes Lessa. And this is the hanging plan. The 21 images submitted for fellowship and it was convert. Very different type of portfolio. First, I will go by the letter of intent, the statement of intent. Minimalism is a architect in architectural photography becomes subtraction for the sake of focus. Furthermore, it becomes visual art when the photographer shares his or her particular interpretation of a building. Over many years, I have been privileged to photograph the Guggenheim Museum in the city of Bilbao. Rather than a conventional representation, I present to you a more abstract study focusing on what an ancient romance called the Genius Loci, the very essence, spirit, and nature of building. This remarkable building is best understood by examining its intricacies and by engaging with them. I introduce to you the language of minimalism and abstraction, which focuses on a study of the leading lines and curves, delicate damage walls, shades, and the light. Just a position of the materials, contrasting elements, and minimalistic forms. Now the individual images. Just see the imagination, or I will rather say the imagination of the image maker, the photographer. Very simple, but very effective. And it is rightly said, if one is able to make an image with the minimum of uh, elements, the beauty will be of very high order. And again, I will say here, as an individual image, there may be uh, less weight as an individual image, but as a portfolio, this is very strong portfolio, very unique portfolio. We'll have to learn a lot from these images, these portfolios. Very remarkable. Out of the world.
Now, uh, the owner portfolio from a different uh, agency, that is Federation International D Art Photography. The uh, this is the Amphia portfolio, and we can these. And uh, first, I'll go by the letter of intent, uh, face to face. I am passionate about my photography and photographing people is a subject that has long fascinated and captivated me. This has lead me to be inspired by people's creative art in the form of dress and face makeup. My portfolio is based on this theme of the art of painted faces and how people express themselves in their chosen hobbies and pastimes. I have tried to sympathetically enhance the subject's dress statement of intent. And the face mark, uh, the background, tasteful lighting to evoke the emotion and the sense of fantasy. I feel that eye contact with my subject is essential in creating a connection between the person being photographed and the person viewing the portrait. This relationship between the two is brought about to facial expression and drawing the viewer into this by evoking a private shared moment or emotion within the subject. And now the in individual images. Very thoughtfully prepared portfolio. Amphib was conferred on this portfolio. The highest earned honor of FIAP. The study of painted faces of the different people. So another uh, Amphia portfolio conferred uh, Nasser Haji Malik from UAE. And uh, this is the hanging plan. And this is uh, the letter of intent. The beginning of a story is a photography project that began nine years ago, a project of 60 artworks. The project is inspired by my personal life and some events that affected my life in one way to or another. Each work represents a story or a single event, but in the end, these works combined nature in these images. This also unites all my work in terms of form. As for the content or idea, varies from one work to another. This is other content of the letter of intent. Uh, you may read it in the while going through the recording. Uh, the last uh, para, I'll read it out. The beginning of a story will remain mysterious in some of its events with the departure of the stereo hero, whom I always try not to disclose clearly. I feel a need to put an end to the story, but I find myself always starting again from the beginning. Very interesting statement. But these are the individual images which got the Master Federation International the Art Photographic. The monochrome images. Mukesh ji, are you there? Yes, sir, I am here. How how much time more I I have at my disposal? Uh, you you have uh, uh, um, you, you, you can take take a twenty to thirty minutes. No, okay, no. okay, thank please, you. Please thank please you. please carry on because the subject is so interesting. 
everybody is uh, uh, watching very carefully so you can continue oh i i i, I feel happy to know this yes sir sometimes sir. i may, feel you the may text, even... text may be little boring <coughs> for you people but no, i no, i, no, I no, am no, happy no. that you feel it is interesting uh, it is very much uh, relevant and very important so you can continue even after 9 o'clock no issue so. no no i will be able to finish within yeah. uh, the time prescribed sure please i you. i hope yeah. yeah very 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 interesting presentation it took me months to gather to prepare this presentation mukesh ji i i know sir i know i i can i, I can feel and uh, you have you have done a great job for us oh thank you thank you thank great you great job sir and i i'm i'm really very very much impressed please carry on sir my goodness अदित जी आर यू देर हाँ है सर है है मैंने देखा था उनको यस yes, yes. उनको ये पोर्टफोलियो बहुत पसंद है दीज इमेजेस आर हिज फेवरेट हाँ उन्होंने एक आज मॉर्निंग में बात भी हुई थी जी ओह माय गॉड ब्यूटीफुल इमेजेस ब्यूटीफुल also maza aa gaya now oh. another portfolio conferred with amphiab by jacqueline hammer from australia uh, <coughs> this is amazing portfolio these are the hanging plan of uh, the whole images 20 or 21 images and this is uh, the letter of intent in control of liquids how can liquid bubble in be arranged or con and controlled Eight years ago, when I first started doing oil and water uh, photography, I produced images of masses of bubbles forming patterns mm -hmm. on the water with bright colored paper under the bowl. This did produce mm -hmm. vibrant and fun effect. However, I knew there were other styles waiting to be explored. Over time, I ventured into the minimalist. monochrome abstract to display the essence of the abstract photography light line shape and forms i wanted to draw the viewer in to get closer as if they were somehow within the liquid itself i wanted to create a certain mood or mystery and sense of wonder by using new compositions and light most importantly and without the distraction of color i wanted to show how liquids behave and how they can be controlled in a particular arrangement or a split second but preserved for eternity via the camera and now these inspiring beautiful images of liquid droplets that's why it is said uh by Albert Einstein, that imagination is better than the knowledge. Yes, <laughs> very true statement. Imagination is much much better than knowledge. How can people explore or imagine at such high level? Very difficult to understand. very high aesthetic value these images are having this portfolio is fabulous one of one of my favorite each image is a gem a marvel a very well knit together is strong very strong connectivity is there but every image is a different this is the beauty of this portfolio
Now, uh, this is a portfolio by Mr. Shambhu Das from Klotha, uh, Kolkata, our countryman. Uh, MFF was conferred on this. This is the hanging plan of the images. I was not able to get the letter of intent, but images are there. So individual images I will share with you. Again, a unique portfolio. Very inspiring what these images are. It is very difficult to visualize and execute such images. And this is portfolio by a legendary image maker, Mr. Sushanta Banerjee, again from Kolkata. And uh, MFA was conferred, I don't remember the exact year. 1992. Thank you, Adiji. Thank you so very much. 1992. And this is the hanging plan. This is all about symbolic study of life based on Indian philosophy. Here again, I don't have the letter of intent, but the images are there to see and enjoy and learn and inspire. <clears throat> I think the letter of intent was based on the theme life and death. Life and death, yes. The symbolic study of life. Yes, uh, life and death. Montuda or Mr. Sushant Banerjee used to work with the bondage technique. Life. Death. And uh, friends, I would like to share my MFA portfolio with, with you. I was conferred in 2009 and this is this was the hanging plan of, uh, it was under the caption form and color. And very quickly, I'll go by the letter of intent, uh, form, forms and color. In the beginning, the universe was without form. Uh, this uh, these lines were taken from uh, the holy book of bible first book genesis first chapter second word the holy bible further says that the universe was without form and ugly god created earth heaven and every living creature and gave individual form and color to everything then he said it is good in this world form and color are the important aspects and attributes for everything whether living or non living in nature we find numerous forms and colors and these forms and colors give concept of beauty and sense of aesthetics and stimulate human mind. This portfolio is based on form and color which are isolated, segregated, visualized, conceived and thus created by the author mostly from the ordinary looking concrete structures to show the inner vision through the pictures which create something unusual 
and that unusual comes to life from looking at them through the camera viewfinder, things transform to unbelievable pictures. Basic idea behind making this portfolio or these pictures is to create something unusual from the most usual and the ordinary looking things. I feel there are splendid lines and energy and space which are brilliantly crafting balance between stability and movement. And it inspires me always to use them with the sense of aesthetic possibilities. This portfolio is just a humble experiment to suggest the nature of geometry and geometric form and its possible relation in photography as a, an art form. This portfolio is a, just a humble experiment to suggest the nature of geometry and geometric form and its possible relation in photography as an art form. And these are the individual images under mm -hmm. the theme form and color. Both factors are in relationship with each other, form and color. Uh, now I will share you some portfolios with you just to uh, have an idea how different portfolios can be prepared. This portfolio of 10 mm -hmm. images, mm -hmm. uh, it's a set mm -hmm. of images. Mm -hmm. It was awarded the national award mm -hmm. by Government of India in 2012. These are the close-ups of the Lotus Temple, New Delhi. And this portfolio was set which got me the UP State Lalit Kala Academy Award about 10 to 12 weeks back. Uh, images extracted from the uh, tea trunks. And uh, this is the six uh, images portfolio of my experimentation of uh, uh, montage technique. Uh, I got the honor mention in the contest by Hazelblad. And uh, this portfolio got me the first award in the All India Fine Arts and Crafts Society, New Delhi. So a common, uh, this is another portfolio of the monochrome landscapes. Another one, a portfolio from the residency. Another portfolio, a body of images from Jantar Mantar, New Delhi. A connectivity should be there, but each image should be different from one and another. These, these are, this is the difficult thing to achieve. But you will have to achieve by these important portfolio uh, distinctions. Line-based portfolio, you can say. All, all these images of this portfolio are having a very distinctive lines and patterns. So this sort of connectivity uh, should be there in the portfolio. The close-ups of uh, the old cars or automobiles. Another kind of portfolios. Individually, these can images. Can you go are... back to the car, please? Thank you. Welcome, welcome. As I was telling, individually, these images are very, very ordinary, very common. But as a body of work, as a portfolio, they may be very strong. So important points. There are a few important points I'll discuss with you. I am at the end of my presentation. Commonality 
with moderate but considerable variation is the essential feature of any kind of portfolio. Without considerable variation, the portfolio becomes boring and have loss of impact. Very true. But greater variation may weaken the unifying thread of commonality. Yes. So that's why uh, I said it's very difficult to prepare a portfolio. Not an easy job. Resulting and this uh, 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 greater variation may weaken the unifying thread of community resulting in weak portfolio. And then another point, while picking the images from the stock, it is mandatory to rise above one's likes and dislikes, but select those images which can go together. I, When I was preparing this presentation, uh, there was some experience uh, shared by some legendary photographer. He said, once I submitted, I got many uh, best picture award in different international salons. And I picked a uh, few images, uh, the best uh, uh, award-winning pictures, and I I sent these images for the portfolio. And I was, uh, it was uh, very unfortunate that I was refused. My, my portfolio was rejected. So he wished to say, the portfolio making is a very, very different thing. You cannot put the different award-winning images and make a very strong portfolio. No. The another point, preparing a portfolio is essential, a selective process, motivated by purpose and individual vision. Again, the individual vision is a very, very important aspect. Keep a statement of intent short and simple. Avoid long sentences, complex ornamental phrases, and verbal jargon which make it obscure to understand. We need to know more important features required for preparing a portfolio with an impact, such a quality consisting of cohesiveness, start with strong and end with the strong images. In between, you may, you may put uh, little weaker images of your portfolio with adequate sequencing, originality, and novelty. Consistency, all the images right from the first to last should consist of quality of theme and individual style. Any odd image of portfolio may weaken the force of portfolio <laughs> as a whole. We should always remember one or two weaker image can spoil whole of the portfolio. Uh, sequencing plays an important role. How you are putting uh, your images at the different numbers of your portfolio. A important role in influencing the psychology of viewer by evoking emotions in them. Sequencing is placing images one after another in such a way that change happening be felt gradually. Abrupt change produces by misplacing of images break the viewing rhythm causing annoyance and irritation in viewer's mind. Very true. I will quote here by what Tim Pyle said about the distinction or winning a distinction or not winning a distinction. When you go for a distinction, you are only competing against yourself. And even if you are not successful, your photography improves by the very act of preparing for it. Very, very true. So if our portfolio is rejected, don't be disheartened. It will certainly help to improve upon our photography. And in future, we may be conferred with that particular uh, distinction. Tim Pyle, these lines by Tim Pyle is very truthful. And uh, I would like to give the acknowledgement, the acknowledgement and thank all the authors yeah. whose pictures are used for this presentation. Without using these beautiful and meaningful <laughs> visuals, it would not have been possible to create the presentation. Thank you so very much, friends, for very correct with me for such a long time. Great, Thank you great, so much. Great, 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 great. So great. I am you stopping plan, my plan. screen sharing. Yeah. Okay, Chi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my, God. First. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sir, it's, uh, uh, not only me, even all the participants were totally lost in uh, watching your presentation. And uh, it, it was very informative and educative, too. I can understand the amount of time you have spent in 
and uh, making such kind of project. It's not easy, it's not easy job. And uh, not only uh, RPS, uh, you also touched uh, MCA for PF. And so nicely, so nicely, I think uh, uh, the way I started uh, five, six months back, uh, publishing the, the distinction portfolio of uh, a few photographers in our bulletin. And that was the basic aim. And uh, in the meantime, uh, this presentation will also help our uh, bulletin readers to uh, understand uh, how the portfolio can be made. And so we will continue to publish distinction portfolio in due course of time also. And uh, uh, first of all, I'll uh, request, uh, before I request anybody, let me, uh, I have got a few uh, uh, comments in the chat box. Let me first read some important uh, uh, chat box. Because uh, it's very good. Uh, first is Ahmad Russell from Bangladesh. A strong portfolio of tribal images. Each image is strong. Then uh, Dr. Misit Shah from Gujarat. Very strong outcome with black and white. I will not be able to tell uh, that it is a museum or something. Not very clear. And then again by Dr. Nishit Sa, amazing uh, PPT. The sky is the limit for imagination. Particularly bubbles, he was impressed. Then Chitra Joshi, thank you very much, Anil sir, for the guidance. Then the Savatar Bade uh, out of world presentation and portfolio. Grand salute to you, sir, uh, for giving us such a wonderful uh, treat, learned tons of things within just a, a couple of hours. Then uh, Naran Rao. Sir, it was amazing presentation, amazing work from your side, and amazing portfolio. Then Prashant Kumar Das, a wonderful presentation and learned a, uh, learned a lot. Then Nita Taskar, absolutely a stunning work, sir. Thank you uh, for this. So this is this is how. Uh, the uh, response we have received, uh, we are really delighted, delighted too much, and uh, I think I think I'm I'm, I'm thankful uh, to our Dharwad Camera Club team to uh, encourage me to do such kind of uh, uh, webinars. So now, uh, before I go ahead, uh, can we ask something? Uh, please, uh, please wait, wait for two minutes. I will get time. Uh, so uh, now we'll open it for uh, question and answer. Before we start question and answer session, I will first request our very senior uh, photographer and uh, present uh, president of FIP, uh, Adit Agrawala sir, to say a few words because I watched him. He was watching very, very uh, with the curiosity. Please, sir. <clears throat> <coughs> uh, thank you. Adilji, Namaskar. Adilji, Namaskar. I didn't even uh, observe this curtsy because all were so busy that I kept quiet. <clears throat> I came here at nine, uh, uh, 10 minutes past 7. 10 or 12 minutes past 7. Much before you started. Yes, yes, yes certainly, certainly. Anyway, no, and I, I thank you that uh, you have spared no, your time feel, to attend this. I feel rather thank, thanked and obliged. Because I specifically asked my friend, Mr. Mukesh, that please send me the link. I want to sit today. And uh, I must say that on this uh, making of distinction portfolio, I have uh, attended some five, six talks delivered by different personalities. And today's presentation, the way, the visuals, the content, the analysis of letter of intent, etc. Everything was par excellence. Sir, sir. In any case, 
from uh, a number of years i have been a uh, appreciator of anil's images for very long time the portfolio that he showed today the mfr portfolio i am having it since last 13 14 years courtesy fia uh, records a very nice portfolio excellently made excellently prepared if you analyze the color contents their juxtaposition their tonal harmony besides the geometric representation and interrelation of each image with the other it is just excellent in one word it is marvelous not only his own portfolio but even the other portfolios that he showed and discussed about their uh, various yeah. forms and their uh, theme their content it was just marvelous excellent thank you anil ji and also i thank mukesh ji thank you sir for making such uh, events uh, possible through his forum and enlightening others through these uh, talks with uh, images thank you very much thank you thank you thank you, thank you, you, thank you again, so very much for your kind words so many times it's very inspiring uh, i got looking... inspired by your words yes sir uh, now i'll request our uh, club advisor lisa snedder to say a few words well first i want to concur with everything the previous gentleman said i mean some of the same things i wrote down it was really amazing and i you've said how many months it took but i'm totally impressed i also have seen some presentations just based on the psa portfolios and what you have shared with us was the most professional and comprehensive and understandable explanation of the process and the you know the top what puts together a, a wonderful portfolio i also um we'll say yes yeah, sir and i am going to go back and watch this i learned so much um one thing i will say about being succinct as you mentioned on the statement of intent i think that psa has even shortened that to 50 words so i'm not sure you would know more than me i don't have a portfolio but i was told they shortened it, it to 50 it, it words maybe it may be the recent change or amendment uh, i'm not aware of it yes i think it is which That's also cool. would be hard and um but anyway that was a beautiful presentation um Thank as you, far Lisa. as psa yes you're welcome anil the um they've added to if any of you have not yet started your psa distinctions mm -hmm. um for the ropa they added a qpsa which is a qualified psa and you only need 54 acceptances from okay, psa okay. recognized exhibitions so that's even an easier starting point if you want to do that but but thank you i'm so glad i could make this meeting it was amazing thank you so much thank you lisa thank you so very much thank you thank you lisa adisa um, uh, i can tell you it, it is in my mind uh, mm -hmm. very, very shortly i will come out with a presentation maybe by you or somebody else on the portfolio of psa because uh, the uh, distinctions of fip and pf is very very clear but there are few confusion still i i am confused about psa distinctions ratings star rating this and that so uh, we will have a session uh, to make uh, every photographer very clear how to go about distinctions of the psa so sure. and and uh, then i'll request uh, our uh, soul full friend kosani naresh dhris kapoor sahab to say a few words god bless you kosani naresh ko namaskar sir sir kaise hai sir aap god bless you anil bade sir 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 wonderful presentation and i think Uh, Aditya was a forgot us that 25 year back we had exhibition in Chandigarh. Yes. And sir, this so. year we are going to have a 50th year of uh, friendship, and it's a great honor for me to say a few words for uh, Anil. Anil, you are one person who always believe in giving, and that's the biggest quality of a human being. Whatsoever you have got, give it to others, because we don't know. Uh, 
how good you have done, how good you have done to the Indian or international photographers from every country. People, um, to be very frank, we only talk about the local honors. We don't talk about, talk about international honors and all that. And the how to prepare portfolio, how to put portfolio, are the best choices. I think the best portfolios from all these places you had uh, put them there, intent, everything. It was a wonderful, wonderful presentation, and I'm proud to be a friend of you for the last 50 years. <laughs> Trish, my dear friend, thank you so very much for your kind words. It's very I, I, I always I always appreciate your thing, and I pray God that he should give you strength to give, 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 and give to the world, to the photographers of the world, and new photographic things. I'm, I'm really proud of you. I love you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you for giving me a chance. Thank you, Kapoor sir. Or you are the Milega ko. Actually, uh, the, the way uh, Anil sir works, he does not only experimentation, he does research in the field of photography. And that is very much evident uh, from his uh, own works. Apart from the uh, uh, work he is doing for uh, legendary photographers of the world. And uh, hats off to him. Now, now, friends, it's open for question and answer. Dr. Uh, uh, Sa, uh, uh, you, you wanted to say something? Over to you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mukesh Bhai, uh, for bringing uh, Anil Bhai. Man, of course, uh -huh. I have been, uh, since the day of, uh, the best thing that has happened to me is, uh, uh, as a doctor, is uh, this... Uh, <coughs> Uh, three years of uh, we never do did anything uh, because of the COVID, and that that brought me so much near to you people, and I have learned so much from you. I wanted to ask you, Anil Bhai, that as a I'm a I'm a, a recreational photographer. Okay. Okay. So, मुझे मुझे क्यों ये distinction लेना चाहिए? आपने पहले समझाया थोड़ा थोड़ा सा, मगर means why I should I should <laughs> If you have a photography as a passion, then you will have a passion. Passion is a passion. Dr. Saab, in the field of pictorial photography, it, these distinctions are very prestigious. If one is able to uh, earn this or comfort with these uh, distinctions, it's a very prestigious thing. And secondary thing that that may be more important when you prepare uh, uh, images for the distinction, you ought to be improve upon your photography, whether you get the distinction or not. But preparation of the distinction will improve upon your caliber uh, in the visual art of photography. This is what I think. And being sure. a doctor, yes, I, I can understand that uh, during the COVID period, uh, you must have got a lot of time, spare time to do photography. Photography is a very uh, popular sort of hobby these days, but hobby is not enough. It should be your passion. And I, I can understand being a doctor, you must be a very, very busy person. I will uh, share a, a, a thing with you. One of my very senior uh, 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 friend photographer, he was also a surgeon. <laughs> Dr. S. Harin Ryan from Bangalore, Bangalore he told yes. me, Anil, you know why I'm doing photography? Then I said, no, sir, kindly tell me. I am a surgeon. I uh, He was a wildlife photographer. I am a surgeon. During surgery, I used to encounter with a lot of blood. So to neutralize mm -hmm. that red color of the blood, I go to the jungles to see more greens Agreed. and do wildlife photography and nature photography. Great. So, great, great. What a lovely thing, you know. Great. Yes, great, yes, sir. The, the, the lovely sir, ex explanation we, he gave. And then we must have honor because they are there. They are for yes. us to climb. I think People ask uh, Everest, -er, that why you go to Everest? They said that, no, we go to Everest because Everest is there. Honors are there. Yes, we, yes, must, uh, we, we must get it. And that should be, we should be proud of it. Uh, I think, sir, with your words, Dr. Nesit sir will start working out, uh, working for the distinction portfolio very soon. <laughs> I so hope he's, so. <laughs> he's the man, he messaged me yesterday. Yes. Uh, what, uh, what does it mean? Then I called him, I, I uh, explained him about distinction portfolio, why it is important. Anyways, I thank Dr. Ne uh, 
Mr. Okay. Dr. Shah, okay. you, yeah. uh, you are here uh, uh, for this presentation. Thank you for your presence. And uh, no, no, sir, no, sir, it is amazing, and I love your residency. <laughs> Uh, now, now, uh, now, friends, uh, it is uh, uh, time to congratulate one of our uh, uh, member, uh, Desh Bhushan Jain uh, whose article on uh, um, tries from uh, rare tries from Odisha uh, has been published in the, the viewfinder, yes. uh, December December viewfinder. Congratulations, Desh Bhushan. Great Jain thing, great thing, Jain Sab, Congratulations. Great, 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 thank great, you very great. much thank for all right. Yeah. For appreciating and encouraging me for all these things. Yes, yes, you are doing a great Just job. Just our sweets, our chocolates are due. Yes, yes. always there. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait for it. Uh, we will meet somewhere at the common. No, we are, you are coming to Kosani now. Come and we'll be have it there. Okay, go to, thank you. Go to go, go to Kosani. Uh, yes, I think I think uh, now we are uh, crossing our time. <laughs> so if there is no question, uh, important question from anybody, please. Yeah, please uh, carry on, Doctor. Yes, Mukesh ji. Yes, sir. Can I uh, say goodbye? I have to attend to somebody else. Some guests have come. Please, please, sir. And thanks, good night, Doctor. Good night. Thanks for attending, sir. Please. Yes, Doctor Nar. Please go ahead. Your audio is muted. Please unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. Thank yes. you, Anil. Uh, for the nice uh, presentation, it uh, inspired Thank me you, also to apply for a uh, portfolio. But uh, I can apply only for PSA because I understand that uh, in 3D only PSA is doing anything and no other organization is doing it. Is it correct? May or maybe. You? Yes, maybe. You, you are correct. It takes a lot of time for me, years to get uh, then uh, acceptances required acceptances for even a distinction because only around uh, less than 10 uh, exhibitions are coming in a year yes yes you are, this is very true very less exhibition for 3d uh, photography is there i understand i, I got qpsa but uh, 140 only now even four star i could not get four more is needed this year wish Today, you all the very best over and I yes Thank you. <coughs> Best wishes. <coughs> now I will request our Kosani Narit and soulful friend <laughs> Chris Kapoor Saab uh, to uh, thanks everyone and give a give a vote of thanks. Please over to you, sir. एक एक क्वेश्चन था मेरा. हाँ बोलिए. हाँ जी सर बोलिए. बोलिए बोलिए. Anil ji. Anil ji good evening. Good evening. Good sir, evening. Please, there is one 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 curiosity. Uh, from where you got this collection? Oh, <laughs> on the net, everything is there. From the net, from the books, from the different journals, it is all combined. As I said, uh, it it was few months preparing. Uh, I spent preparing this uh, particular presentation. So from so all nice. sources, I tried to gather the required information. Very nice, sir. Sanjay ji, Sanjay ji, Sanjay ji, ये सारे जो इनका जो इनका जो मेहनत है, इसके पीछे इनसे अधिक भाभी जी का हाथ है, क्योंकि वो इनको अलाउ करती हैं कि आप परिवार के कामों में हाथ न बटा के आप कंप्यूटर पे बैठ के इन सब चीजों को ढूंढिए। बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही काम किया। नहीं मुकेश ऐसा नहीं है। ये घर का काम भी उतनी ही ईमानदारी से करते हैं जितना फोटोग्राफी का काम करते हैं नहीं लेकिन अगर द द टाइम टाइम ही इस बेंड इज रियली रियली रिमार्केबल एंड इट्स वेरी इंस्पिरेशनल फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस सो नाउ लेट अस गो फॉर वोट ऑफ थैंक्स ओवर टू कपूर साहब सर आपका भी बहुत बड़ा रोल है मैं थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस चांस on the world they will they will love to have this thing with them and i'm sure uh, anil the uh, the amount of efforts you have put in they are fabulous you you deserve all the kudos for this i thank every member of the um, dhanbad photography society and uh, other members who joined this meeting we are all delighted we had a fantastic time we had a beautiful time and i think dhanbad camera club having anil as the advisor should be very glad and 
Lucknow Camera Club should be proud of Anil that a man from Lucknow is creating all these things. Yeah. I tell yeah. you, Lucknow or UP, once upon a time was from where the photography started also. I was reading some somewhere in Rurki and Lucknow. They were all very busy. But uh, Mukesh Ji, it's your effort. You have created this uh, as, um, atmosphere for all of us that we can enjoy these webinars. Enjoying a webinar for two hours nowadays is something fantastic. It's all the attraction of uh, your photographs, Anil's photographs, and your efforts. I once again thank everyone, Aditya Ji and uh, all of the members, and a uh, lot of love to Anil, a lot of love to Mukesh Ji and their families also. Because you have uh, given us time. It's a big strength. I love you. And as recommended by you, Mukesh Ji, you can extend that 1,000 rupee or discount to those who are coming to Kosani workshop, Dhanra members. They can all have Already, it. already I have and, 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 and uh, members are anything joining. Else you want, I'm always there for you. Yes, yes. I lots love of you members all. are joining. I love you all. And uh, my best wishes and regards and uh, to Anilji and you and all Dhanba Camera Club members, every photographer. Uh, Lisa also, she was here. Um, thank you, everyone. Fantastic okay. show and keep on doing this. Thanks, 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 Kapoor sahab. Uh, now, now, before we uh, come to end, uh, I want to share my screen with, with, some, pers with some important uh, uh, purpose. Uh, it's very essential. Uh, wait just a minute. Yes, friends. Um, my screen is visible. Yes. Uh, and uh, with with the blessings of our uh, uh, members, uh, uh, we uh, we have reached to the stage of a uh, golden jubilee webinar. Next Congratulations. Month. 58th Golden Jubilee Webinar, 58th uh, DCC Photo Webinar to be held on 7th January. I, I just uh, request all the friends, please, please participate. This will be something very unique. I think uh, never, never done before because the uh, top, uh, top notch international photographers will be presenting their 20 best images on that day. And that will be a very, very remarkable day and a landmark in the history of Dharbar Camera Club. So I, I, I invite all of you to join us on 7th January. Congratulations great. and great, great effort. Great. great effort. And now thanks all of you. Friends, you will get a YouTube link of the recording of tonight's session by tomorrow noon or in the evening. So... Uh, it was a wonderful, and uh, I, I still. Uh, Mukeshi, we must preserve this thing. This was a wonderful presentation, and that should uh, be documented in a very great way. Yeah, uh, that's why that's why I upload on the YouTube because our hard disk can get crashed. Yeah. Uh, recently, recently I had a very setback, uh, like Lisa also had a setback of crashing her hard disk, and it's very painful. But YouTube will remain forever, so we I always upload on the YouTube. Okay. Okay, friends, good night. Okay, Mukesh ji, good night. Good night. And thank we you will so much. We'll meet club. again on 7th of January. Sure, sure, sure. sure. I'll right. be thank there. You. Thank you all.